Hello friends, welcome to our channel. In the previous session, uh, we have learned the array, what is meant by an array, and uh, one dimensional array, and how to declare a one dimensional array, and how to initialize the one dimensional array, and where the elements will be stored, and how the elements will be stored in an array, and how to access the one dimensional array elements, and how to display the elements of an array in, on the display screen. In this session, let us have a program which reads the elements of an array and which prints the elements of array on the display screen. So let us write the program. Header file include so main function. Declare first declare an array with a maximum number of elements. So int I am declaring a maximum number of elements. Sorry. Int marks of hundred. So that doesn't mean we have to use the, all the hundred elements. That means this array can store a maximum of hundred elements. So we can store only five elements, or we can store only ten elements, or we, or we can store only six elements. So we can first it's better to declare it with a maximum number and later in the program we can use a scanf function to read the required number of elements now let us write so declare an array and a loop variable so printf right here enter the size of array So this means, so we are asking the size of array. That means how many elements the user wants to store. Because here we are declared, we have declared an array with maximum number of elements that is 100. So this array can store a maximum number of 100 elements. So user, we are prompt, we are giving a prompt to the user to enter the size of array according to the user requirement and without mentioning this size array cannot be declared that means if you write it int marks this is an invalid statement because here the size is not mentioned so we have to mention the size in the declaration itself and it is an optional when the values are initialized at the compile time itself that means using assignment operator. Now, write the output function. So, here n is the size of array. How many elements the user wants to store into an array. Now, reading the elements into an array. That means input, we are giving the input to the array elements, assigning the values to the array elements at the runtime. So at the runtime means we have to use the scanner, right? Now, so for runtime initialization as I have said that, for i is equal to 0, i less than n, i plus plus. So up to n minus 1, 0 to n minus 1, the elements will be stored. Scanf percentage d and present marks of i. So first i is equal to 0, the element will be stored into marks of 0. If i is equal to 1, the element will be stored into Amazon. So marks of 1. If uh, i is equal to 2, marks of 2, that this process will be repeated until this condition becomes true. That means n minus 1. So elements from 0 to n minus 1, index values. Now after reading the elements, we want to print the same elements on the input screen. I do print f elements of array. So it will be displayed on the screen. So for printing, again we have to use the 
same logic that means we have to use an iterative statement for printing all the elements of an array so because instead of writing individual elements instead of printing individual elements it is better to write a general format and repeatedly execute the same statement a number of times that means that we call it as a iterative statement i is equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus print f percentage d marks of i close so this is a simple program to read the elements of an array and print the same elements on the onto the display screen hope you understood this this example and let us stop here and uh, in the next session let us have a look on application of one dimensional array that means where these one dimensional array will be used so main usage of these one dimensional arrays are in sorting and searching so as we know that sorting means uh, arranging the elements in either ascending order or a descending order and searching means search for a element in the array any value in the array so the main usage of one dimensional arrays will be major applications are mainly sorting and searching so let us uh, stop here and in the next session we will look at this sorting technique and searching technique for one dimensional arrays so if you like my videos like it and share my videos with your friends and subscribe to my channel and if you have any doubts post your doubts in the comment session so that i will try to clarify your doubts and thank you for supporting and thank you very much